John Sally, hey, what's up? This championship means a whole lot to the city of Detroit. It means a ton of life. John Sally won four championships with three different teams in three different decades and two different millenniums. He won the first two championships with the Detroit Pistons, while the third and the fourth was with the Chicago Bulls and the Los Angeles Lakers. Oh, when I was growing up, basketball was always a part of uh, the culture. So I uh, played, you know, just as everyone does in the park, anything to get out of the house to play. So uh, that was it. I got into it and I realized you can make money doing it. So I stayed in it. The first one was the most special one. Well, the reason the first championship is the most special championship is uh, because your whole life you dream about winning the championship. I was blessed to go to five championships and win four. But when you first get there, we lost in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Boston Celtics. And then we won the Eastern Conference Finals and we lost in seven games against the Lakers so they can get a three-peat. And then the next year with the almost the same team, that had, uh, I guess, not made it to the mountaintop. Uh, we came back and we won again. So it was so much put into those three years that I consider it uh, my favorite. Well, Adrian Dantley, better known as AD, better known as the teacher, taught me how to eat, how to, how to act in front of people, how to present myself. Uh, how to be a professional. He was the best, and that's why I said teacher, and I credit him for my long career. The most unforgettable moment in my career was the day I got drafted. I've never forget it. I had my entire family there, my mother, my father, my brothers, aunts, cousins. I had 32 people at the NBA draft. You only usually have five and they called my name in that walk. I remember that walk, I remember the stairs were not regulation, so I had to turn my feet sideways. I was happy they gave me a blue hat because I had on a blue suit, and I was happy I got drafted to the Detroit Pistons. So it was a great day. Oh, I've only, uh, once you win your first championship, you don't want to do anything else but win championships. I uh, looked at the Los Angeles Lakers and realized they had the most talent and the most dominant player in the, lay in the game at that time, Shaquille O'Neal. And then with Phil Jackson at the helm, there's no way that they're not going to win a championship. And once again, I was right. They won three championships in a row. The feeling of playing along Scottie Pippen, Michael Jordan was like, and Dennis Rodman was like traveling with Elvis, the Beatles, and Michael Jackson all in one. That's, that's the feeling. And Michael Jordan being all three of them. <laughs> um, literally learn to dribble, learn to shoot, learn to pass. Don't let this is advice to anybody starting out basketball. Become a basketball player. Not one way. Don't let anybody tell you, you're only a big person, don't dribble. You're only a small person, don't come in the lane. Become an overall and an all-around basketball player. My all-time favorite basketball players in the world would be John Sally. Uh, then John Spider Sally, and then John Spider Sally. <laughs> uh, I would say my favorite 
three basketball players would be personally. So when I was growing up, it was Dr. J was my favorite player. It's who I wanted to be like and who I admire to this day. Oscar Robinson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, Jerry West. Uh, those were my players when I was growing up. But if you were to look at it now in my era, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, and of course the great Michael Jordan. And then after my career, LeBron James is the best thing to ever put on sneakers, if you ask me. Kobe Bryant, I, I, he's in a league by himself. Thank you for joining with Swishing the Nets. We wish you all the very best for the future.